D, wait for it. Light bulb. I got the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? And have I got a story for you. Now, also down below, you can find the articles that I read to bring you this stories, uh, this video, and you can uh, read them, you know, and uh, make up your own mind, or you can just watch this video and I'll break it down in a little, uh, in just a little bit or whatnot. Um, before I get started, also, I just want to say that if you like what I do here and you enjoy independent content here on YouTube, please consider subscribing to my channel. YouTube is always changing up their algorithm and small channels like mine always get pushed to the back of the line. So please ask that you like, share, and subscribe, and I thank you in advance. So why don't we go ahead and get started? All right, you guys. So Universal is still doing their Monsters Universe. If you remember correctly, they called it the Dark Universe way back in the day when they were going to do all these movies and everything. And then they that mummy movie uh, like tanked at the box office. I don't think it tanked because it wasn't a good idea. It's just the the script sucked and they they did a little uh bait and switch on us with tom cruise and uh the mummy being a woman kind of thing but anyways so they're gonna do a a new one but oh and the, uh, ryan gosling is set to play the wolfman in another in a wolfman movie which is interesting i i like ryan gosling i don't know if it's going to turn out but we'll see but so they're they're moving forward with this this monsters universe which i think is great uh and everything i though i'm a huge fan of the monsters movies from the back in the day the black and white ones and everything um in fact i told my wife we should start watching them again because they're actually they're actually pretty good my favorite was always um the creature from the black lagoon even though you know the 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 suit looks stupid the, the movies are still pretty good at least they are from what i remember so they're doing a renfield movie you know if you don't know who renfield is renfield is dracula's human and he gets put into according uh, in Bram stroker's dracula he gets put into a uh, a sane asylum and then he eats creatures and stuff and and dracula sends him like bugs to eat like he sends him like flies and um uh what are they called those moths those dead dead head moths head death moths i don't remember what they're called but he sends him like flies or whatever and people think he's crazy but he's he's really not he's just telling the truth and everybody's just like oh you're a crazy person but uh so uh, uh, Chris McKay is directing this movie. And if you don't know who that is, he directed the Batman Lego movie and the Lego movies and everything. And he also just recently directed the Tomorrow War uh, starring Chris Pratt, which I actually liked that movie. Um, I thought it was pretty good. Now, uh, this is going to be set in present day. And they've cast Nicholas Holt as Renfield, which I think is a good idea. I like Nicholas Holt. Um, you know, he played Beast in the latest X-Men movies. He's now on that show, The Great. I have not watched that show with him and Elle Fanning. Um, but uh, from what I hear, it's very funny, you know, but uh, I haven't seen it. So I can't I can't give my opinion on it. But I do like Nicholas Holt. I think he's a talented actor. Um uh, very good looking and all that good stuff. But uh, the, the one I want to focus mainly on is that Nicolas Cage has been cast as Dracula, which I think is fantastic. I love Nicolas Cage. Even all his all his craziness makes me happy. Um, you know, I think he's fantastic. And him being Dracula is actually not a bad idea. Sorry, uh, I think it's very good. Now, if uh, now Nicholas Holt uh, is is Renfield, but uh, Nicholas Cage, uh, if you don't know who that is, first off, you're crazy. But he was uh, recently in Pig, which everybody I guess loves. I haven't seen it, so I don't know. Um, the last movie I saw was Willy's Wonderland. It's like a a horror kind of movie, which I thought it was fantastic. I loved it, and I love Nicholas Cage in that movie. He drinks so much soda in that movie. Um, uh, which I don't drink soda. So I was just like, wow, that's so much sugar water that he's drinking. Um, but then um, he was ghostwriter in those ghostwriter and in National Treasure. Uh, so I, I think that I love Nicolas Cage, like I said before. So and he's kind of having a comeback. I mean, Pig, everybody from what I understand, everybody that I talked to about that scene Pig really liked it. So good for him. Now, this is supposed to be a horror comedy, um, and uh, I would liken it to um, Warm Bodies, which Nicholas Holt was in. That's why I weren't, uh, when I was looking up what movies he was in, so I could uh, write it down for you guys. Um, he was in Warm Bodies, which was kind of like a, a, like a zombie romance, but that was kind of like a, a, a horror comedy. You know, you had zombies eating people, but yet you had like the, the kind of fun aspect to it where, you know, the, the, the one girl's pretending to be a zombie kind of thing. And while I was looking at movies that uh, each one of these actors was, 
Caleb was in, I noticed that they both were in a movie called Weatherman together, which is it's it's kind of like a, and I remember seeing that movie. I don't remember Nicholas Holt being in that movie, but I remember uh, Nicholas Cage. But uh, 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 it's kind of like a, a Groundhog's Day kind of movie, but with a Weatherman kind of thing. It doesn't even matter. Anyways. So I think that Dracula, uh, I think casting Nicolas Cage was a fantastic idea for this movie and this this universe. It's, uh, you know, and, and I think setting it in present day uh, is is good. Um, you know, you have, you've got the invisible man, well, now invisible woman, um, and then Ryan Gosling with his wolf man. So I think maybe they're setting up a good uh, monsters universe. We'll just see how this pans out, because I don't know how it's going to pan out now that uh that mummy movie really tanked and it was bad. It was not a good movie. Tell me, what do you guys think about all of this? How do you feel about Nicolas Cage being cast as Dracula for this Renfield movie? Um, do you like Nicolas Cage? Do you think that this sounds great? Do you like this monsters universe going forward at Universal? Um, how much did you hate the mummy? Cause I know you did. Um, you know, yeah, go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go in and that like button. You know, I won't mind if you in my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. I will see you guys next Sunday. You guys have a good week. Bye.